Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you all how to play your PS5 and PS4 games remotely on your Steam Deck in SteamOS. From gaming mode, press the Steam button, power and switch to desktop mode. Once loaded, we want to go ahead and open the Discover Store, found here on the taskbar. Once open, we need to open our Steam keyboard by pressing the Steam button and X. In the search field, enter Chiaki. and press enter. Select Chiaki found from the search results and press install. This will now download Chiaki, a free open source PlayStation remote play client onto our Steam Decks. Before we launch Chiaki, make sure to power your PS5 or PS4 console on. It is recommended that your PlayStation 5 console is plugged directly into your router via Ethernet. This is so we can get the most stable connection possible with the least amount of latency, especially if you have multiple users in the same household using Wi-Fi from separate devices. It is important your PS5 and Steam Deck are both connected to the same network for this to work. Once your PlayStation is powered on, let's launch Chiaki for the first time. The first thing we can see is that our PS5 has been discovered. Double tapping or double clicking on the PS5 we will be prompted to register the console with Chiaki. To do this, we need our PSN's unique account ID that we can obtain easily via a website called psn.flipscreen.games. This is noted in the description of this video. Open Firefox on your Steam Deck and in the web address field, we want to type the following URL with the Steam keyboard. psn.flipscreen.games and press enter. Once we arrive at the home page, it is noted that your privacy settings need to allow for anyone to find you in search. You can change this back once you have your account ID. Once you are sure that this is the case, type your primary PSN name in the username field and press enter. We will be provided with our account ID and encoded ID. All we need is the encoded ID, which we can easily copy and switch back to Chiaki. Pasting this ID into the second field called PSN account ID base 64. Next, we need to go over to our PS5 and obtain a pin number, which is randomly generated. On our PS5 console, and with our controller, we want to go to the top bar of our home screen and choose Settings. Scroll down to System and select Remote Play. Make sure the Enable Remote Play toggle is on and select Link Device. Here we will be provided with our randomly generated pin, which we have five minutes to
to enter into our Chiaki's pin field on our Steam Deck. On your Steam Deck, select the pin field and type your number provided on your PS5 with the Steam keyboard. Do not worry about the space in between and press enter. If you entered all of those details correct, then Chiaki will instantly prompt us that our PlayStation console has been registered successfully. Press OK. And before we launch Remote Play for the first time, let's quickly make some adjustments to our settings. Press the cog icon in the top right of Chiaki. This will open a new window which may appear intimidating at first, but we only need to change a few settings here to ensure we get the best performance from our remote play sessions. Change the resolution in stream settings from 720p to 1080p. FPS should always be set to 60. For our bitrate, we want to type 30,000. Our codec must always be on H.265. If you have a PS4, change this to H.264. Our audio buffer size we want to change to 20,000. And for our decode settings in hardware decode method, we want to change this to VAAPI. Once those recommended settings have been applied, simply close this window and let's test our PS5 remote play for the first time by double tapping or double clicking on the PS5 console icon. As we can see, our remote play session is working as expected. However, before we start playing our games, we want to add Chiaki to Steam. Close the remote play session and select no when we are asked if we want the console to go into sleep mode. Open Steam from the taskbar below. Select Add a game, add a non-Steam game, and we want to choose Chiaki from the list here. Add selected programs, and from your list of games, you can find Chiaki. And we can add this to our favourites, if we wish. Now all of that is done, we want to return to gaming mode. Once you're back in gaming mode, press the Steam button, Library, and you can either access Chiaki via Favourites or via the non-Steam tab. Press play on Chiaki and double tap on our PS5 console icon to instantly load our remote play session. Now, before we get started with playing games, press the Steam button one last time. Choose controller settings and follow along with the recommendations provided. On the current layout, select this and from the templates, choose Gamepad with Mouse Trackpad. Press X to apply the layout. Next, we want to choose Edit Layout 
and go down to the option called Trackpads. We want to change our R click from a right mouse click to a left mouse click. Navigate to the mouse tab and select this. Finally, for our left trackpad behavior, we need to change directional pad to a single button. Choose L click, navigate to the keyboard tab and select the escape key. Press back until you get back to the layout screen again. And you can optionally enable gyro as a joystick if you wish, or whenever you play particular games. Now your Steam Deck is all set up for PS5 remote play sessions, let's take a brief look at playing some games. Whenever you are finished with your remote play session, simply press the Steam button and exit game. This will disconnect the Steam Deck from your PS5 and you can go back whenever you like as long as your console is either in rest mode or powered on. Before we end the video, I want to give a massive shout out to Flip Screen Games for creating their website tool for easily discovering our PSN account ID and encoded ID for use with Chiaki, as this process has been made far easier because of their efforts. So, thank you very much. I hope this guide has helped you all with getting PS5 Remote Play all set up on your Steam Decks within SteamOS, so you can play exclusive titles wherever you are in your home. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel to be made aware of new videos whenever I upload them. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below, or join the DeckWizard Discord server 
and I will try my best to answer you. Until next time, have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.